What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Vile. Today I'm going to show you how to install more than one amplifier. So two or more amplifiers through your RCA cable to the back end. So only one RCA on your stereo and two or more to the back. So stay tuned. All right, so I do daily cardio videos. Today I figured I'd do a little DIY how-to on how I installed my aftermarket stereo system here. I have a Kenwood deck. Uh, this is just a little casing here, but on the back is the most important part. So I have a subwoofer and two channel amplifier. RCA's right there. So you can see in the back of this little uh, casing that I have. So two of them are going to the four channel on the top and then the single one in the back is the RCA. So the black, and blue one here is my RCA cable. I've already got it all taped up, so there's no real need for me to take it all apart for y'all to see. But what this is, is I wanna show y'all today how I got this installed, and I'm installing some new amps today, so I'm gonna show you the back, getting them installed, and how I install. I'm actually installing four amplifiers today. So I'll show you in a second in the back, but before that, I just wanna explain the front. So the stereo head unit you have is any of them, whatever you have, any brand, any type, your stereo, this is for aftermarket, this video will be for aftermarket people, but anytime you have a stereo, you'll have your symbol for output in the back or your four channel or your two channel in the back. So you have your two RCAs or your one RCA for your actual speaker output, and then you'll have a mono for your subwoofer. So what I'm doing, I just showed you back there behind, is so I have a bass knob, but the RCAs to my bass knob are going directly to the back for my subwoofer. So this wire here is going directly to the back for my subwoofer and I'm going to be showing you how it looks back there before I show you how I get these installed so any questions you have ask in the comments after I do this video and I'm doing this for entertainment purposes also maybe I could help some of y'all that are trying to install more than one amp so let me get in the back and show you what I'm going to use all right so I'm back here don't mind the mess I have a wall build here so anybody watching I have a whole wall behind my system but I have a single RCA that I just showed you that's in the front with my stereo head unit. So here's my RCAs coming directly from my aftermarket radio from the subwoofer output. So these are the RCAs that are be going into the input of my amplifier, but I have four amplifiers. So if you have two, three, four, 10, 12, I'll show you how you can install that. And it's really simple devices that you can use. So there's my amplifier RCA is going to the RCA of the input for my sub so i've got four amplifiers here staged and i'm about to ins show, install all four of them using this device so i've got a distribution block here is what they call it an rca distribution block you can use uh one to two so you have one input and then you have a two output three four eight ten twelve sixteen i've even seen a 32 which is huge so an RCA distribution block. I'll put a link in the description so you can see exactly where to buy this at. Uh, so check out the description if you wanna see where to buy this at. Also, if you're just doing a two amp system, you don't have to buy a big distribution block. And if you want to, you could just go with the cheap route. You can use some of these actual little Y splitters is what they're called, RCA Y splitters. So you would have one end going in and then you'd have two ends going out. So I'll explain both of them in a second. So I'm going to be using the distribution block because I have four amplifiers. But if you're just doing a two amplifier system or even um, going with just adding a secondary base amp, this would be uni universal and actually cheaper. Sorry about that. It got a little loud. I had a train go by. Anyway, all right. So first off, let's go ahead and focus on the Y splitters. And after the Y splitters, we'll focus on the distribution block. Okay, so at the front, this is a, once again coming from the aftermarket stereo RCA base amp from the front. And all you need is a Y splitter, two of them, uh, from the male to female end here going on the left side and then one for the right side. So you usually have a left and a right. So you'd have your male to female end here on both of them, so your left and right channels. And then I can actually run RCAs to both of them. So here's going to be my first set of RCAs. And here's going to be my second set of RCAs. So all it is is just I'm using some six foot RCAs. Uh, you can use three foot, 16 foot, whatever it works to get to where you are from point A to B. But the concept is very simple. So if you're running just a two amp system, you could use it this process. 
I'm sure people have done Y splitters and done a Y split. And instead of doing a two split, it would be a three or four split. I'm sure they have those two. Uh, that's pretty much what this device is doing here for the one to four RCA distribution block is there's wire mechanisms in here all linked together. And the voltage stays the same. So there might be a question to say, well, will I lose some voltage output from RCAs if you're running two amps, four amps, six or whatever? The answer to that is no, you won't. So just real simple, real quick. I'm going to go ahead and install these RCAs for the splitter and just assume these are going directly to the two amps. So this is how you would install these. And then I have... I have the two amplifiers here that I'd actually get these installed into. Don't worry about the mess. And I would actually get them installed right here. So I have two amplifiers staged, so I would actually install two of them right there. But I'm gonna be using the distribution block way, so that's the first way, using two RCA splits, fly splits. And now let me show you the distribution way. All right, so I've got both of my amplifiers here and then the other two here. So I'm focusing on these two today for showing you just a distribution concept of using a two amp system with RCA distribution. And imagine if you've got more than just four amps, if you've got six or eight or 10, I've seen people have, you can use this distribution block here, except they would have a bigger one. So link in the description and you can actually see where to buy these at. They run anywhere from like 30, $35 up to over a hundred dollars, depending on which one you buy and the brand and all of that, but definitely worth investing in. They look really cool. This one's scuffed up. I've been using for four years. So you can see some scuff marks, but they're high quality made. So of course you can make them yourself, but it would be a little cheaper to make yourself. But I personally just like to plug and play and buy it. So what I'm going to do is install my actual distribution block right here. And then I have the RCA input downward so I can kind of wire up my RCAs directly to it. So I'm just going to install these two here after I get it and screw it in. And uh, before I do this, I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. I have a lot of DIYs and simple things of how to tune your amplifier or work with anything cardio stereo-wise in your vehicle. So I really appreciate everybody watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, that, that'll keep it in place. So I've got my three wired in. So now I'm gonna show you just downward just a little. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna install the bottom end. So this is my base amplifier RCA. So I'm using one RCA coming from the aftermarket going to my four, to one to four RCA distribution splitter. So this is an actual distribution box that I'm using and it would actually split my RCA signal to all four of these. And it would go directly to my amplifier. Since I'm using only two or four amplifiers, I'll use all four. So you actually could buy a four pack and only use one or two of them or three of them. And it would work just fine because the signal is just going across all of them. And it will not separate your voltage. So if you have a two and a half volt or a three or four volt output RCA distribution, um, you're going to be distributing between that. Your voltage stays the same across. And to explain that simply, think about it like a battery. If you put your power wire anywhere on multiple devices, your source is still coming from the battery at 12 volt. So your source should still stay 12 volt. You're not gonna split that 12 volt to six or three or one and a half. Just because you have multiple devices, it's still gonna stay at the 12 volt range. So that's the same thing with this. Your RCA voltage output will stay at whatever your RCA distribution is coming from your stereo head unit or if you're using a line out converter or other devices to boost your signal. So now let me go ahead and get these installed to two of the amplifiers so I can kind of show y'all how it looks. All right. So my, my RCAs are a little long here to kind of explain the concept, but it works just the same. You just have an RCA. Uh, you could use a four channel and just split it between both, but I have just two channels here to work with. So I'm literally just going to simply go ahead and hit in my left and my right, my red and my gray or black in this case. And then the same thing happens to my amplifier here on the RCA. I'm going to link in my left and my right to my input. So some amplifiers will have a output RCA. You could actually not need this device if you have an amplifier for your subwoofer amp that has an output. So for example, if there was a base output here, I could actually run an RCA from my output to my input of my second amp. 
So then that would simply skip this device altogether, but not every amplifier you purchase has that feature. It is honestly not a good feature to have because that just leaves more room for air. I would rather have an extra device to run it so I can actually run it the way I like instead of trusting an amplifier, but that's just my opinion. I'm sure everybody likes it different. It's very uh, essential. If you look at buying an amplifier and you're thinking, well, I'm ready to buy an amp. What if you bought an amp that had that RCA distribution where you actually had an input and an output on this amplifier? So, but mine doesn't have that. So, all right, I got the first one installed. Now let's get the second one installed. Uh, once again, if you want to buy these kind of RCA distributions or the RCAs, you can check out the links in the description. And uh, they're really, really beneficial for your system, especially if you're running two or more amplifiers. And it makes it ease of use to install anywhere you want. So now let's go ahead and install the second RCA right there. So now I've got my two amplifiers hooked up. So now the bottom two, I will actually install these bottom two off camera. There's no need for me to install them on camera because you see the concept the same. I'll run the other two to the other side. Everything will be cleaned up a little bit more when I actually get it installed. But there you go. That's showing you how I installed two or more amplifiers using RCA distribution block. And of course, the Y splitters I have over here for your other option. If you want to use Y splitters, these are really cheap Y splitters. They have high quality ones you can get as well. But uh, check out the link description. You could actually see where you can get these at as well. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, hit the like button and it goes a long way and uh, stay tuned for more videos and of course if you're looking at this system in front of me and you're like what in the world am i looking at well i just got upgraded amplifiers and i'm getting these installed today and i figured i'd do a, a secondary and third video for y'all to show you a diy and how to install some rcas using your base amp so hopefully this answers y'all's questions installing two or more amps using your aftermarket radio base amplifier output rca to your input of your more than two amplifiers so the concept's the same it might not be the best looking system you're looking at but it's not about my look it's about how i explained it and i hope i answered your questions now if you have any questions comment and uh a like goes a long way once again thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one thank you for watching everybody as well as thank you channel supporters if you want to become a channel supporter check out the links in the description to show support as well as thank you everybody for supporting the channel also, if you haven't already, use discount code Jacob Vile when you shop at Sky High Cardio, Explicit Audio, and others. And also, if you haven't already, check me out. I am on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube as you are seeing here. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And subscribe. Stay tuned for more daily videos. And I'll see you all in the next one.